Morning gents, just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, I'm in Premiere Pro. I'm in my editing setup. I've got a load of R3D files here. Um, I do believe they are shot at 5K. I think the resolution is on here somewhere. Yeah, there you go, 5120 by 2560. That's a, it's a 5K resolution at a two to one uh, ratio. So I've selected this file here. Uh, this is the lovely Alana Wallace, or Elena Wallace, as she keeps telling me, Elena Wallace. Um, and this is the log files. So two things, I wanna show you about the proxies and also just about the um, metadata looks that you can apply that come with Premiere Pro software. So if we go into effect controls, you'll see here that it's coming as shot red wide gamut um, is the color space and the log is your kind of codec. So to take it out of log film, we'll pop it into red gamma two, which is a, a lower contrast uh, LUT, and we'll change the color space from red wide gamut to dragon color two, right? And as you can see, what will happen is once those have kicked in, you'll see the color saturation come through. Uh, what's great about the raw is, as we all know, this is all metadata. So if we so decided to make it even lower contrast, you can click on contrast and instead of zero, you can make that minus one. Give that a click, and then once that's transferred the information to the brushes, lower contrast. You can also change the ISO from 400 to something a little bit faster and brighter, go at one stop to 800, and it completely changes everything, it's crazy. So I'll put that back to zero, so normal contrast, or slightly higher contrast, and I'll put this 800 back to 400, okay? So that's just basically quickly showing you how quickly you can grade things and change the look of things with the metadata rather than actually color grading. Now, if I go back to add shot, it'll return it all to its raw log flat loveliness. I'll click back on the source, so we're back to normal. Uh, this is the file. If I command click on maybe a couple more, let's pick up three, right click, um, and we can make proxies. So there's your proxy, create proxies. Um, your little interface box pops up where you can choose QuickTime or H.264, just for the this presentation. We'll do QuickTime, ProRes, low resolution proxies. Pretty much the lowest you can do without ingesting one of your own. Um, as you've already seen, I've made a little folder, proxies. So if you click on browse, you will then be able to choose wherever you want it. So in my little work backup drive, um, I've made this little folder called making proxies and we'll select the proxy folder, okay? Select folder. Now, and then you click, that's it, you click OK. Now, creating proxy jobs. Once it's finished that, sending a bit of information over to Media Encoder. Your Media Encoder, as it already has done, there's the three files, and it's already started transcoding the first R3D file into whatever you've chosen it to do. So here we go, path, that's where it's going, file name, the video, there's your resolution, 1024 by 540. Uh, progressive, um, Apple ProRes proxy, um, you know, stuff available, stuff isn't available. And if you go into your proxy folder, uh, the one that's not solid there, that's the one that's being created right now, that kind of thing. Uh, and that's it. And so basically, you know, once it's happy converting 5K into whatever it is, 720 HD kind of thing. My laptop, by the way, is, is pretty old. It, it won't be this slow on a proper computer. <laughs> it, fly, it flies through them a bit faster. But I just wanted to basically show you how kind of simple it is. It's a really simple process using Premiere Pro if you still want to, to make proxies. And also how you can use Premiere Pro to you know really beautifully and quickly get even just a test grade up. And that's on the, obviously that's on the R3D files, that's the raw files. Once you transcode to proxies, um, uh, you, you it won't do that to the proxies because the proxies will be quick time. They won't be R3D files, but you can quickly grade the R3D files once you relink for grading or whatever. Or once you finish your edit 
and you want to output, you can grade them before you output, or you can output the R3D files uh, and then grade it as a finished piece, that kind of thing, if you know what I mean. So I just wanted to show you just how nice and quick things are to do with the lovely Premiere Pro, which has come on leaps and bounds. Now it's dealing with raw footage and metadata. Good stuff. All right, mate. Cheers. Bye.